just this miniature here on the left. We get a very low angle, like we're about to get, uses the concept known as force perspective. And now that we have crossed the ocean, if you will, it's only fitting that our next part of the is Europe. We're a little Europe. Our little European sets can be used to represent any city or country in Europe just by changing the languages on the signs and adding some set decoration, a country flag, and telling where anywhere in Europe we need to be. Uh, these sets were built in 1929 for our first Academy Award winning movie for Best Picture, All Quiet on the Western Front. One in 1930, and it was Germany in that movie. But again, it can be used for any city or country, even fictional locations. This was Genovia in Princess Diaries 2, The Royal Engagement, written by Shonda Rhimes. It was Port Royal and Tortuga in the first two Pirates of the Caribbean movies. And it was even Transylvania in Dracula. This is where he filmed a lot of the classic Universal monster movies like Frankenstein, Dracula, The Bride of Frankenstein, The Wolfman, The Invisible Man, The Mummy, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and so many more. Right now we're going to go inside of a soundstage. This is soundstage 50. Uh, it is our only two-leveled soundstage. One of the only two level sound stages in Hollywood. Here it is in the TV show Bones. So again, it's a two-level sound stage, so the level just above us is designed to look like a city street. And then down here you can see it's designed to be an underground subway station. So off to the left you can see a track. We're driving on top of another track where we can put two subway trains going either direction. Again, anything we can do to make this seem a little more believable, a little more realistic as being an actively working subway station. Now what's really great about having a two-level set is... Just like all of you went through that soundstage, was so inspired by. 